you will be guided to use Barfung M625 drive system to upgrade conventional bicycles to e-bike. First of all, the bicycle adapted to the M625 drive system needs to meet the following requirements. The upper area of down tube shall have a motion range of 390mm in length and 170mm in height for battery installation. Cable brake is adopted for the sake of modification of e-brake lever. The length of the bottom bracket matches the length of the motor shaft. The CL value of chain ring shall be compatible to that of the original bicycle. M625 drive system includes M625 drive unit, speed sensor, battery, battery slide rail, 4A charger, e-brake lever, throttle, headlight, tail light, display, chain ring, left crank, right crank, hoop, EB bus, light cable, motor accessory kit, etc. Also, the tools as follows shall be prepared in advance. Step 1. Disassembly of original bicycle. Firstly, we need to remove the bottom bracket part, chain ring and crank from the original frame. Step 2. Motor installation. Then, we need to install the motor, which includes six steps as follows. Install the motor into the bottom bracket of the frame. Put fixing bracket on the down tube of the motor and use T30 internal Torx wrench to pre-lock the M6 Torx screws cylindrical head screws on the motor with some room between the fixing bracket and the screw. Pre-tighten the lock nut on the motor with Barfung special tools with some room between the lock nut and the fixing bracket. Attach rubber pad to the mounting position of frame hoop and install the hoop sleeve on the motor. The hoop passes through the down tube and motor with the thick end on the left side of the frame and the screws upward. Use cross screwdriver to lock the hoop on the frame and cut off the excessive hoop with diagonal pliers. Then, tighten the unlocked parts in step 2 and step 3. As the last step of motor installation, use special tool to lock the second nut on the motor. Step 3. Chain ring installation. Set the chain ring to the output end of the motor. Insert five M5 Torx screws cylindrical head screws through the chain ring and tighten on the motor with T25 internal Torx wrench. Step four, crank installation. The crank includes a left part and a right part. Install first the left crank on the bottom bracket and lock the screws with M8 Allen wrench. Then install the right crank in the same way. Step 5. EB Bus Connection Connect the EB Bus after the crank has been installed. Step 6. Speed Sensor Installation Connect the cable to the speed sensor and tighten the nut. Use Phillips screwdriver to tighten the fixing screws. Make sure the gap between the speed sensor and the magnet steel is less than 5mm. 
then connect the speed sensor cable to the motor. Step 7. Handlebar controls installation. Firstly, remove the covers of original handlebars and the brake levers. The handlebar controls installation includes five steps as follows. Loosen the left and right sleeves of the display. Then put them on the handlebars and lock with an M2.5 Allen wrench. Use M2.5 Allen wrench to loosen the screws on both sides of display. Adjust to suitable angle from which the rider can see the screen more conveniently and tighten the screws. Install the left brake lever and cover. Adjust to proper position to confirm normal use of brake lever. Loosen the button sleeve and place on the handlebar for easy operation. Then lock the button screws with M2.5 Allen wrench and lock the brake levers with M5 Allen wrench. Put the throttle, brake lever and sleeve on the right handlebar in turn and lock the handlebar with M3 Allen wrench and right brake lever with M5 Allen wrench after position adjustment. Finally, connect the connectors of the display, brake lever and throttle to the EB bus according to the colour codes. Install the brake wires into the front and rear brake levers and confirm that the harness will not affect the steering of handlebar. Step 8. Battery installation. Before slide rail installation, mark the installation position for the rubber pad and stick to the place where the hoop passes on the down tube. Fix the slide rail to the down tube with two hoops with the hoop connector on the left and the screws upward. Turn the battery lock to the open and push the battery down into the slide rail. Then turn the key to the lock and remove the key. Shake the battery handle to ensure that it's properly locked. Finally, connect the power cable and communication cable to the motor. Step 9. Headlight and tail light installation. Install the headlight first and tighten the screws after adjusting the position. Install the tail light in the same way. Finally, connect the cables to the headlight and tail light. Step 10. Indoor test. When the installation is complete, we will test how to use this e-bike. Firstly, turn on the battery power and the display. Then switch the motor gear. The power assistance increases from gear one to gear five. Gear zero means no power assistance. Long press the dash key to activate the push assistant mode and the motor will run at a speed of six kilometers per hour. Start motor driving with the throttle. No need to press the pedal. 